Thanks, good evening, and welcome to the late look north. Tonight, the real story behind the disgraced Yorkshire MP who's serving time for fraud. Good evening. The leader of the Labour Party, Sir Keir Starmer, has told Look North that the jailed Yorkshire MP, Jared O'Mara, would never have been selected as a candidate today as the process has been overhauled. He was speaking as a new BBC documentary charts the time the former Sheffield Hallam MP spent in office before he was convicted of fraud. Now, our political editor, James Vincent, joins us. Now, James, just to remind us of the background to this story. Yeah, the Jared O'Mara story is a, is a really long one and a complicated one. What, what, you know, what, watch the documentary as well. But uh, he was, he made history. He was the first Labour MP to be elected in Sheffield Hallam. Uh, and we knew it was going to be a big story. It was the biggest story of the, the 2017 election for us in this part of the world. We didn't quite know how big a story he'd go on to be, though. So Jared O'Mara was elected. He was then suspended by the Labour Party over comments he'd made uh, when he was younger online. He apologised for those comments. He was reinstated to the Labour Party. Then he left the Labour Party. Um, and it was only then that we realised there was an investigation into him. He was eventually arrested for fraud and at the start of this year he was found guilty of fraud and was given a four-year prison sentence and in the last couple of weeks he's just been turned down he's not allowed to appeal that sentence so yeah it's a really long story that we've tried to, to condense down I guess uh, and what's the Labour leader had to say well during all of this and one of the concerns during this was that constituents didn't have an MP because Jared Omar was taking some time off work he was um, struggling with his mental health to some extent so con constituents a wanted more help for their MP but wanted more help from their MP um, uh, and at the time Labour didn't have a great deal to say but Labour conference this week we caught up with Keir Starmer uh, and I asked him whether this would happen again. People in Sheffield Hallam felt like they didn't have an MP while he was there can you guarantee to people when you're selecting candidates for the next election that this will never happen again? Yes and that's why I've put in place um, a rigorous system now for selecting our candidates. I am determined that across Yorkshire the very best representation is there and so that will never happen again because we've already taken the steps to ensure that it can never happen again. So that was Sir Keir Starmer talking to me about why he thinks it couldn't happen again. Labour say that they've tightened up their procedures because of what happened with Jared O'Mara. Obviously other parties have had problems with, with MPs in the past and they all be looking to make sure that their uh, selection processes are a bit more stringent. Of course it's this time of year because uh, they're selecting a lot of candidates. We've got the general election coming at some point next year, so all parties will be having to select people and they'll be trying to make sure they get it right. Good stuff. Thanks, James. And you can see the story of Jared O'Mara on the BBC iPlayer. The documentary is called The Commons Criminal and you can watch it now. As you'll have seen in the BBC News at 10, tensions in Israel continue to rise. And communities in our region touched by the deadly conflict have been gathering. A vigil at Millennium Square in Leeds by people from the Jewish community took place this evening. And in Bradford this afternoon, a rally was held in solidarity with Palestinians. Now, cannabis plants worth more than half a million pounds have been discovered in Doncaster. South Yorkshire Police found more than 550 plants in a house in the city centre, which they seized, then destroyed. A man, Hai Noigoyen, has been charged with production of a controlled Class B drug and remanded in custody. He's due to appear at Sheffield Crown Court next month. And a date's been set for a parish poll over the introduction of a 20-mile-an-hour zone and speed calming measures in Ilkley. Voting will be held on October the 23rd at five polling stations in Ilkley and Ben Ridding, with only those who live in the area allowed to take part. The late Sir Michael Parkinson has been honoured with a blue plaque in the South Yorkshire village where he grew up. The veteran broadcaster died in August, aged 88. His TV career spanned seven decades and he interviewed the world's biggest stars on his long-running Saturday night chat show. Uh, today, the memorial blue plaque was unveiled at a ceremony in the Barnsley village of Cuddeth, where he was born in 1935. And he was, had the ability to, to, to li listen to a diatribe from someone or some emotional outburst and actually focus down on exactly what was really at the core of it. And I suppose that was his innate talent.
And a special box of chocolates that's been kept treasured and uneaten since 1935 is up for auction. This royal souvenir box of round tree chocolates was made to commemorate the Silver Jubilee of King George V and Queen Mary. Leeds girl Vera Petchel was given it aged eight as she was told by her father not to eat the chocolates. It was only after Vera died when she was 95 that her daughters found the old tin hidden under her bed. It turns out her father was right. 88 years later, there's a guide price of around 200 pounds. Lovely stuff. Well, will the weather be any better tomorrow? Let's find out. Here's Paul Hudson. Hello, good evening. Well, it's been a bit disappointing today, but tomorrow the sun will be back out. A lovely day to come with temperatures back to normal for the middle of October. More rain to come on Friday, then the weekend looks much cooler with plenty of sunshine, but the chance of a frost. So any patchy rain and cloud, that will continue to sink away southwards. It's certainly going to be a chilly one across parts of North Yorkshire. Some spots down to one or two degrees Celsius, perhaps a touch of ground frost here. So tomorrow looks a lovely day, dry and bright, long spells of sunshine. That sunshine might be hazy, especially the further south you go. And in fact, cloud might just push up from the south later in the day. But for many, it's a big improvement compared with today. Temperatures a lot cooler, 13 or 14 degrees. Friday then it looks wet, especially in the morning. The weekend, plenty of sunshine, but a lot cooler with a risk of a touch of frost at night. That's the forecast. Well, that's your news and weather. Claire will be back at 6.25 in the morning as part of the BBC Breakfast programme. But from all of the late team, have a good night. Bye-bye.